Welcome everyone. Uh, I'm starting the video just a little bit early to let everyone get on. I uh, just wanted to introduce myself. Good afternoon. My name is Shannon Wagner. I'm a certified personal trainer uh, working here with Aging and Wellness Institute. I'm excited to have uh, see you all here at five o'clock class. We also make these videos available on our YouTube channel, so you can check there for the Aging and Wellness Institute videos uh, and also send them out via email. Or you can do them live here with me or here uh, on our Facebook page. All right, we've got just a few more seconds here and we will get started. Couple of things that you're gonna need for today's workout. Uh, you will need um, water for sure because you wanna stay hydrated the whole time. Um, and you also might wanna have a nice sturdy chair. All the exercises that we are going to do today, um, you can do with weights, but you can also do them without weights. So that's up to you. And hey, Catherine, good to see you there. We'll wait just a few more seconds here and get started shortly. So as I was saying, um, make sure you have your water with you. Make sure um, you have a chair. You may need that for some of the balance exercises. Um, and then all of the work that we're going to do today is you can do with or without weights. So that's up to you. Um, and then um, the other thing is overall, the workout is going to be a full body workout. We're going to do a lot of combination moves. So um, we'll talk about stability and making sure that you stay stable the whole time. So, okay, I'm gonna give it one more minute here. And Catherine, it may be you and me. So. We'll see if we get anyone else on, and if not, we'll get started. All right, guys, I think it is. <laughs> so let's go ahead, let's get started. Um, we're going to walk through, like I said, it's going to be a lot of combo exercises. I'll talk a lot about form and checking your form. So let's get started. Um, we're going to start out with a warm up. We got a, a few minutes of a warm up and then uh, we will go uh, to the exercises. Just one second. I'm going to restart. Okay, let's get started with our warm up here. Okay. And let's just start out here. Let's just start with low jacks initially, just to get the body warmed up. Get those arms and legs moving. Let's bring those knees out in front of us. Bring them up nice and high. Keep that tummy tight as you're bringing those knees up. Just warming up those legs and let's swing those arms. Breathe. Let's get those knees up nice and high. Keep it going, guys. All right. Now let's bring that down and take those legs out to the side, and we're going to punch it out here. Hold that tummy tight and breathe as you punch. Keep those level, those arms nice and level. Keep it going. All right, nice job there. Let's bring it back to center. Take it to a march. Okay, make sure that tummy is tight. If you want to bring it up, bring it to a jog. You can do that as well, or you can keep it right here at that march. And then the next thing I want you to do is pull those legs up, kick in the butt as close as you can get, and let's pull those arms back 
pulling the shoulder blades together. There you go. Keep it going. Breathe. All right, let's bring this down now. I want to take it down flat back for a good morning. Keep that tummy in tight. You should feel that stretch in the back of the legs here. And let's bring it up. Let's hinge down one more time. All right, I want you to take your legs a little bit wider here. And let's reach down towards the floor. Just go as far as you are comfortable with. Let that head hang down so you get a little bit of a stretch in your neck. Breathe. All right, bend those knees and roll it up. Okay, we're going to just get started here. I want to show you the first exercise that we're going to be doing. It's going to be a squat with a shoulder press. So you'll want to grab a weight um, if you're going to use weight. So I'm using an eight pound weight here. Uh, you can use whatever is good for you. You're going to bring your weights up here. Okay, we're going to take our legs a little more than hip distance apart. We're going to squat down and press it up. Squat it down, press it up. There you go. Keep going. Keep squatting and press. Just a few more here. Breathe as you go. So when you're doing that squat, you want to be flat on your feet, squatting down, sitting back towards the back. Again, if you're not using weights, that's okay. Just press those arms up. You use those shoulders to do so. Okay, one more here. All right, let's bring those weights down. We're going to use them again, so keep them handy. We'll go back to that exercise. Next thing we're going to do is the pivot squat with a punch. So without weights, it looks like this. You're going to be here and come up on that foot and punch out. Bring it back, punch it out. Keep those arms nice and straight. Okay, so grab your weight of choice. For me, I'm at four pounds here, a little bit less because it's more difficult on the shoulders there. Okay, so bring it down, punch it out. Pivot that leg away as you punch. Keep that tummy tight. All about that core. Keep it going. Breathe. Keep going. You're doing fantastic. Nice job. And three, two, last one here. Shake those arms out. You can give them a good shake. Roll those shoulders back. All right, we're going to go back to those push press ups, shoulder presses. So bring the weights here and legs a little more hip distance apart. Squat it down, push it up. Keep going. Good job. Okay. Take a quick break. And we're going to go back to those punches. Pivot squat with a punch. We're going to start here in just a few seconds. Catch your breath. Take a deep breath in. We'll have a minute break after this one here. And you can get a drink. Okay. So again, we're going to squat it down. Punch it out. Squat. Throw that punch. Come up. Pivot on that foot. This is also about coordination. Keep it going. Breathe. Keep that tummy tight. You're doing great. Just three, two, one. Let's go one more. Even it out because I started on the other side. All right, nice work. We're going to take just a second here, grab a drink, or a few seconds. We'll grab a drink, and we'll get going on the next one. All 
All right. We got a little bit of time before I start here. So catch your breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale out the mouth. Let's do that one more time. Deep breath in. And exhale. I want you to take that right ear towards the right shoulder. Stretch out those shoulders there. And take the opposite ear towards that shoulder. Get a good stretch. All right, guys, we're going to go with a little heavier weight this time. If you are using weights, uh, we're going to do a sumo squat. And we're going to hold the weight right here. And we're going to squat it down. I want your toes pointed out and your legs are wide. Okay? So choose your weight, whatever works for you. If you're going to have a weight, hold the weight. Uh, in your hands so that it's resting on your hands there. And toes out. Scoot back a little bit. Toes out. Bring it down. Squeeze it up tight. Here you go. Your tummy should be tucked in here, squeezed tight. So you're working that core as well. Keep it going. Breathe. Let's go for four, three, that back should be straight, two, one more here, all right, that's it. We're going to go to squat pulses. You can use a weight, but you don't have to. If you are going to use a weight, you want to grab two of them. We're going to take those legs wide, just like we had them, toes pointed out, and we're simply going to pulse it down. So I'm going to hold the weights here in front of me. Come down into that squat with my back straight and pulse it out. Let's go. Those legs down as long as you can. If you need to come up and shake it out, that's fine. If you want to hold one weight up here, you can do that too. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's bring it up. All right. Catch your breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale. We're going to go back to that sumo squat with that goblet. Whatever weight you chose, if you're using the weight, and I'll hold it here in your hands. We're going to start in just a few seconds. Point those toes out. Breathe. So here, I want your toes pointed outward. I want your tummy in tight, holding that weight. If you have one in front of you, bring it down and back up. Keep your back straight. When you come up, squeeze your glutes. Tummy is tight. Keep it going. Breathe. And last one there. Okay, we're going to go back to that squat pulse. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to keep the same weight that I have and just hold it here in front of me. That seemed to work a little better. All right. Breathe. We're going to get ready. So you want those feet wide, toes pointed away from you. And we're going to bring it down and start pulsing. Here, tummy tight, back is straight. So if you look at it from the side, my back is straight, so you don't want to be humped over. You want those shoulder blades back. Working deep into those legs. A few more seconds. You got this. Three, two, one, and shake it out. You should really feel that burning into those legs. Building those legs mus leg muscles. And we got a break again. So let's grab a drink. All right, like I said, full body, we're going to use a lot of combo moves. So coming up next is going to be a static back lunge with a bicep curl. I'm going to use, ah, I'm going to, for simplicity, I'm just going to use a little four pounder for me. So you're going to take that right leg back here, and we're just going to hold that position, and you're just bending that knee. 
okay? As we go, squeeze the glute at the top. So you come down, and I'll tell you when we're gonna start, and then you squeeze those biceps up. Just go down to where it's comfortable for you. We're gonna start in three seconds. Your tummy should be tight. And come down and bring up. You can feel my, hear my elbows popping. So it's all about your personal best. So just focus on that squeeze of the biceps and coming down to your personal best as far as that back lunge goes. Doesn't have to be super far and squeeze that glute at the top. Let's get two more out of here, ready? Here's one and two. All right, next time we'll do the other legs. So remember what leg you had back. The next thing we're gonna do here are simply calf raises. I am gonna grab a little heavier weights for this for me, okay? What we're gonna be doing, we'll start here in just a few. You're just coming up on your toes. We're working those calves, so tummy tight, shoulders back, okay? Your body is straight up and down. Bring it up here on your toes and come back down. Try to hold it up a little, little while on your toes and come back. Breathe. Keep breathing, guys. Got a few more here. Bring it up on those toes, working your calf muscles. Okay, here we go, five. Oops, I need to bring it up. Five, four, works a little balance too. Three, two, and the last one, and bring it down. Okay, we're gonna go back to that back lunge like we were doing with that bicep curl. So whatever leg you had back, you're gonna use the opposite leg this time. I think, <laughs> you gotta remember. Okay, that leg back, and we're just gonna come down. When we come up, we'll squeeze our biceps up. There you go, let's begin. Breathe, squeeze it tight at the top. Your knee should not go over your toe. That front knee. Keep it going. Squeeze those biceps hard at the top. A few more here. Here's four, three, two, last one. All right. And we'll go back to those back calf raises one more time. Weight or no weight, it's all good. We get started, your feet are about hip distance apart, and we bring it up onto those toes and back down. Try to hold it at the top and back down. Keep going. Breathe it out as you go. Here's three, two, last one. Get it, there you go. All right, let's break. Again, get a drink of water, catch your breath, and we'll go on to the next one. This one here is mostly about your, or your uh, triceps, so I'll demo real quick. We're gonna have one weight, so choose the weight that you would like. We're gonna hold it, show you real quick. You know, basically hold it like this so the weight's resting on your hands. So here, we're gonna bring it overhead as such. We're gonna take a little bit wider than hip distance apart, and we're gonna bring that squat down. And as we're holding that squat, we're gonna extend our tricep extension here. So we got a few seconds and then we'll get started. Okay. Catch your breath. And let's bring that weight overhead. 
Okay, bring that squat down. It doesn't have to be super low. Bring it down to you, to your level, and begin. Squeeze it up. This is a static hold for those leg muscles. Building that muscle, challenging it. There, let's get three more. Here's three, two, one more, and one more. Okay, that's the first set done uh, on those, <clears throat> excuse me, on those tricep extensions. So now we're going to go to a side lunge and we're going to do a hammer curl. So a hammer curl, this is a bicep curl this way. Hammer, you just change your weights so they're like this. We're going to come over, moving that right leg out, and we're just going to bend into that right leg. Okay? Toes are pointed forward and work into that leg. Next time we'll do the left leg. Keep it going. Squeeze those biceps at the top. Breathe. We got three, two, and the last one here. Okay, we'll be the left side next. We're going back to that static squat with an overhead extension. So bring your squat down, a little, little more than hip distance apart. Bring it down. Sit down into that squat, and let's begin. Breathe as you press up. That tummy is in tight. Those legs are bent. It's five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Shake those arms out. We're going to go over to the opposite side for that side lunge. Catch your breath. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale. So remember what leg you had out had extended last time. We're going to extend the opposite leg. Okay, bring that leg over. And hammer curl, remember. Your uh, thumbs are facing each other. Bring it to the squat. Or that lunge, sorry. And let's hammer curl it up. Squeeze those biceps. Keep it going. Both toes are pointed forward. Okay, let's get five more here. There's five. Keep it going. Four. Three, two. And last one, squeeze it up. All right. We are um, going to be going, going to the next one. We've got a few seconds here before, while we rest. But the next one we're going to do <clears throat> is going to be involving single leg work. Um, and the reason we're doing single leg work is because of working that balance. So whenever I ask you to do single leg work, the one thing I want you to do, whatever your post leg is, you're squeezing that tight, and then you're squeezing your tummy as tight as you can so you're making that core super solid. All right? Grab your drink and we'll get started. This is going to be a single leg tricep extension. Chair is always handy for this. So, if necessary. So we're going to use uh, the tricep extension just on one side for now, in, in case you need to hold that chair. So you're going to come to single leg, opposite leg, opposite arm, and you're going to extend your tricep. Chair's there if you need it for balance. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you that weight, if you're using one, will throw you off balance. So now you're using your core to really Balance your body. Keep it going. Keep it up. Nice. It always also helps to find a focal point 
and just stare at it. Something that's not moving. Okay, and breathe. I'm going to do the opposite leg, opposite arm. You should feel those triceps as you were working and extending back. Let's try it. Here we go. Opposite leg. Now remember, the leg that's down, you're squeezing that glute tight. And now your tummy's tight. Go to that one leg and squeeze those triceps back. Nice. Keep it going. If you need to touch the chair, that's okay. If you're gripping onto this chair, try to go fingertips to challenge yourself. Your stomach should be so tight. Squeeze those triceps. Three, two, last one. Nice job. Um, and then the next thing is going to be a single leg one row. So let's catch our breath. Again, I always like to do my balance work at the end of an exercise or an exercise class. <clears throat> because typically, if we are going to fall, it's usually when we're tired, right? So challenge yourself while you're tired to um, build that balance, and that'll help. <clears throat> okay, so the next one is going to be that single leg, one arm row. So I'm going to demo it. And remember, you've always got your chair if you need it. So you are going to have opposite leg back and opposite arm forward. So you'll be like this. Here's your chair if you need it. And you're going to row it up. Let's begin. That stomach should be super tight. And you notice I touch the chair occasionally. It's a very difficult exercise. Let's get three more. Three. Two, suck that tummy in, that helps. One, all right, shake the leg out. That leg that is planted is the leg that's really working hard. Okay, we're going to the opposite side. Extend the opposite leg out and the opposite arm this time. And let's begin. I'm sorry, I went the wrong way. There we go. All right, tummy is tight. And let's begin. One leg is stronger than the other for every single person I know. And this right leg of mine is not, the balance is not as good. That's okay. That's why I work it. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Nice work. We're going to go down to core work now. So I'm going to move this chair back out of the way. Okay. So the core work, we're going to work bicycles, crunches, and then a lemon cruncher, which reminds me, I want to demo, I want to do that on the chair as well if necessary. So I will leave the chair here after all. Okay. Bicycles. So we're going to go down to the floor uh, to bicycle it out. If you cannot get to the floor, you can bicycle here. And I want you to lay back into that chair, not all the way back, don't touch it, but lean back so that you're working the core. Otherwise, you'll be here on the floor, and let's bicycle. Touch that knee to the elbow. And elbow to the knee. Keep it going. All right. Now, all the way down at the floor, we're going to crunch. So bring those elbows behind your head or hands behind the head and crunch it up. Keep it going. If you're unable to be on the floor, that's okay. I want you to come to the edge of your chair, lean back, and crunch forward. Okay, keep it going. Three, two, one. All right. And we're going to come up to our next one, which is going to be that lemon cruncher. So I'm going to show it to you right here. 
you're sitting on the edge of your chair, hold on, and you're going to crunch those knees into your chest, or you can be on the floor, hands down, crunching it in. Lean back, breathe. Keep going. If you need to take a break, take a break and come back. Okay, rest. And the last thing we're going to do is a low plank. You can plank against the wall. Go ahead, if you're doing the low plank, start. If you need to be against the wall, go right here at an angle on your hands. On the floor, the low plank, I want you to be on your elbows. And I want your body tight. If you're against the wall, that needs to be tight as well. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your tummy as tight as you can. And breathe. Hold that pose. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Let's come up onto our hands and knees here. And I want to see a cat cow. So we're going to bring that back up and then arch that back. Let's go again. One more time. And bring it down. One more time here. Curl it up and arch. Okay. Let's go from this position up to a standing position. I'd like to take that right arm, bring it across the body for a nice stretch in the shoulder. And now the left side across. Let's take that arm that you have extended, bringing it up over the head, and let's stretch that tricep. Now, change those arms, bring the opposite arm over. Stretch. Okay, bring it down here. Okay, roll those shoulders back. Okay, now I want you to take your legs wide. We're going to go down first, just as a good morning, stretching out that back, hold your tummy in, and now bring it all the way down to the floor or as low as you can go. Stretch it down, let that head fall. Breathe. All right, roll it up. We're going to take that right leg and cross it over in front of the left. Great sciatica stretch here, uh, or a sciatic nerve stretch, whatever, um, to prevent sciatica. There we go. So bring it all the way down. You should feel a great stretch in the back of your leg, all the way up through the glute area. All right, roll it up. Let's go the opposite side and bring it down. And let's roll that up. All right, guys, that is the end of the class today. Amazing work, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great evening.